Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and welcome back to another episode of our beautiful desert painting together. Now today is really actually very exciting because we're gonna finish it up and do the final details and then throw it in a frame. I've had a great time doing this painting with you and I really can't wait to see what we're gonna do next. It'll be a lot of fun. But for now, let's go ahead and finish up on our desert painting. We'll start off today here with a little bit of yellow on our, on our little detail round brush. All right, and I've got a little green sitting around and I've been painting earlier today, so that's why I have a little bit of color mixed here. Okay, I'm going to drop in some highlight here and some detail. Now, of course, this is all dry. This was done last week and our light's coming through like this. So with that in mind, I'm going to highlight our cactus. This is the most important one. The rest I'm not going to be nearly as concerned about. The ones over there. The ones over here are the ones that I'm worried about. Now this one's turned. Remember this one? How it's kind of turned? There. All right, now I'm gonna, let me show you my palette here. I'm gonna lighten up the color with a little bit of yellow and white. And I'm gonna get what I call a little sunlight golden color. And I'm actually gonna slice that color right along the edge of some of these, not everywhere. This is a highlight on a highlight. There, which is generally called like a little accent highlight. There. You can put them in first or second, doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Uh, let's see here, maybe one right there. There, good. Okay, that's probably enough accent highlight. Let's stop with that. And I'm, I like this feeling of green in here, so I'm gonna pop just a little bit of green in because we're close enough now that you know, we probably would see some true colors and not just sun reflecting. If this cactus was further away, I might recommend just doing, doing it to match the color of everything else, but no, nah, it's okay. We can do some green today. There, got some brown in here. You've got to vary your colors. If you don't vary your colors, you're going to have a boring painting, <laughs> right? We don't want boring paintings. No, we want cool paintings. We want exciting paintings with a lot of life, color changes, and detail. I'm trying to sort of save a little bit of that uh, that original shadow color that we threw on the back side. If I eat it all up, I'll put it back in, but I hate to waste my time. There. Hmm. It's okay to have some of these super dark. That's totally acceptable. Yeah, see that? Just keep some of them real dark. Sharpen the edges up. You know, put a little shadow on the inside because these guys are three-dimensional. Gotta have light, shadow, and all that good stuff sitting in there. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same exact process over here to this one. And I might go just a touch faster because it's a tiny bit further away. And I might go with just a little bit more golden yellow tones. I still don't want it too, still don't want it too vibrant or bright. Still want it pretty dark. There. Good. <laughs> this is fun. I like painting cactus because it's something that's, you know, that I don't do a lot. We're going to stick just a little bit of this accent highlight right out on the top of these. See that? Because the sun is more directly right above. And I'm even going to change it to a little bit more of a golden color. That just helps to give the feeling of a little more light. Make sure you kind of are following the shape of this, each little, each little piece of the cactus here. Got to follow the shape, make it right. And one really cool thing that I wasn't even planning to do was I took our cactus fruit and I actually put some red on it so that it looks ripe, <laughs> which is kind of fun. I like that. Kind of fun. Let me show you what I did. I just literally took some some red really didn't mix it with anything. Maybe a little bit of yellow was on there, but I just touched it like this. So you can kind of create some ripe fruit and then to highlight a little yellow, a little red, a little white. See that? I got a little pile right there. And I just touch on to highlight. Now I'm going to take our detail round and I'm going to go right through some yellow and maybe flip it around, grab some other colors. So we've got all sorts of things happening on this brush. And here and there, ooh, that's too dark on the back side. I like the top side, but the back side's a little too dark, so. There, 
fun. I'm just gonna run in a little bit of this beautiful green. All that's gonna do is suggest desert plants in the background. That's it, that's all it's gonna do. We don't need a lot, I don't wanna get carried away. I don't feel like we need it, you know? I think it would just be distracting if you did too much. This is so far away. All we can see is color. So if all we see is a little bit of what feels like a touch of cooler green, I think that's enough. I think that's enough to tell the story that there are some plants back there. And honestly, maybe nobody would notice that we didn't do anything back there. But I feel like it just, we're gonna help the viewer out just a little, decide that there are plants back there. That's all it takes to see I don't wanna overwhelm the area. I just wanna make it, make it feel a little bit more alive down here. That's it. Because I don't wanna take away the beautiful, beautiful colors of our desert. And this green will do that. So don't let it do it. Just, just make it feel a little, little bit of life back there through use of color. Yes. Some plants in the wash, of course. It could be some. Not a lot, but some. Good. And I'm just gonna think about a slightly cooler green that we can just pop a couple of, a couple of spots in the, in the darks. All right, well, I think we finally have a finished painting here. All I'm gonna do now is sign it, and then we'll see what it looks like in our frame. All right, well, here it is, our finished painting hanging on the wall. I chose a more rustic frame that really complemented the beautiful desert scene that we had, also something slightly darker, because this is a lighter painting. This has really been one of my favorite paintings that we've ever done together. Now you can take this time to go to the website and vote for the next subject that you'd like to see, and we'll start a brand new painting next week. Thanks so much for your support, and thanks for watching.